Hello, hello, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hello, my name is Kate. I would, I want to do a reading on Lally now. He's the prosecutor who, I don't know how he's a prosecutor. That's all I can say. I don't have anything nice to say, so I wanted to thank one of our beautiful friends who I called Stephanie, I called Sandra Birchmore Stephanie in either the jury or the Auntie Bev readings, and so I wanted to thank you for the correction. And I saw, I was kept calling Kyle Ryan, which is curious to me. I'm wondering, I wonder why I kept calling her Ryan. Kyle Marissa Roth had something, I got Oprah and then JoJo. It's Kyle, not Ryan, but I wonder where Ryan comes from. I wonder if that's something, I don't know if I want to fall down a rabbit hole, but I wanted to thank you guys for that. And today I would like to do Lally. I haven't done any of the calling in the quarters or sacred space. I will clear the energy, call in the quarters, set sacred space. We're back. Oh, Sage is ready to talk. Hmm. Don't don't mind that. Um, we I want to look into Lally. That's the best that Massachusetts has. I don't know if Lally picked the short end of the stick. If you watched any of the trial, then you know what I mean. If you didn't, then he is the prosecuting attorney. I feel like, well, not only did it, it was like a David and Goliath situation. He went against some very skilled attorneys who use their words well. What if any was said over 2,000 times? I did not count. There was another woman who did. And of course, I can't remember her name. But she's a law tube girl. She counted 2,000. What if any's? And I think that I don't, feel like we need tarot cards. I want to see if he was just probably pretty, I don't have an opinion, what my opinion is. I'm going to set sacred sit base, I just did, set the intention that I want to know if Lally was bought off too. I don't think it would have been that hard. I didn't see anything moral. He lied on the stand, and, or he wasn't on the stand. He lied a number of times. He submitted an inverted video with straight face and thought it was totally fine. He had the audacity to interrupt, object a lot, which was, it was just frustrating because I feel like I want to just know if he was bought off. This might be a quick reading. I feel like we don't need tarot cards to tell us, but let's try it. All right. Was Lally bought off? Was who paid? I don't know. I'm not ready to ask the who. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. But was Lally paid off to throw the case? Page of Wands. Oh, you know what I should have done? A Page of Wands, he's bringing a message. He's a messenger. I'm going to do our yes-nos because I feel like we don't really need to read into it. I feel like it's so obvious. <laughs> Person that I'm... Sn I'm not snickering about, I'm like very hesitant to read on is Brian Albert. He is completely unhinged and la, the lawyer, no, it's not the lawyer, you know, there's another kid who just said that the word on the street is that he has killed people before. So 
I want to know if Lally was paid off. Three cards. Well, four cards just jumped. Well, the card that jumped the first round. Hi, welcome if you're in the balcony. Um, the card, so these three cards, it was, okay, the card that jumped was looks like yes. Shocking. And I don't, honestly, I don't know how he passed law school. We got, yes, you got it, and then two negatives to cancel them, but those three jumped. I'm going to go with it looks like a yes for Lally. You don't say. That's the best that Massachusetts has. But the thing that's really concerning about it is, like, I wonder how many wrongful convictions there have been. And I mean, like, they're sitting in prison, and hopefully all those people, like the public defender's office, is, like, looking at all the people sitting in prison that Lally or Judge Bev convicted and sent to prison based on a false narrative. It's straight-up lie. So, so Lally's, we knew. I, I don't, I honestly don't know how he even got into law school. I feel like maybe his parents have connections somewhere. Someone I feel like got, I don't even know how he must have passed the bar, but not everyone these days has to pass the bar, which is also a, that's a controversial thing in itself. The woman who's the president of the Bar Association doesn't even have her bar. But in Idaho, it is a federal law that the prosecutor has his bar license. And if anyone can find, I don't know how this just started into an Idaho thing. Well, corruption, prosecutorial uh, <laughs> corruption is where I'm going probably. Um, if anyone can find Bill Thompson's law license anywhere, I would love to see it doesn't have one and I have looked a million times I've looked well first of all it should be pretty easy to find everyone else you can just google their name and get their bar license he doesn't have one and that's a federal crime and I have all the information to back it up I have it and I I'm sure that Ann Taylor has it too she works for him doesn't she technically She's a public defender, so he could be her boss, so she might not want to call him out. But that's where we are with our government right now. So, uh, yeah, Lally was sold off, or bought off. I mean, he... I, I don't even know if he's... I, um, I want to say I don't know if his meant, what his IQ score would be. I don't know if we're working with like a, what is that, um, the murder, it became a huge Netflix hit, and you know who I'm talking about, he, um, it was like, in a, his family was like, they owned like a car, shoot, it's gonna come to me, I'll put a clip in here, something so I can remember it, Stephen Avery, Steve Avery. I feel like we're working with the IQ of like Steve Avery and the other kid that, and I'm not laughing at that. I just can't believe. I should probably actually check and see if he has a bar license. Hey, government, love ya. I mean, la yeah, so Lally was bought off. All right, so I'm gonna pause you, and we're gonna do a reading straight up on um, Brian Albert, and he is. He is a very, very skilled and talented killing machine. So I'm going to pause you because I want Brian Albert to have his own platform. And then we're going to look into Brian Albert. And once I heard that he had other killings under his belt, it's a little also concerning. That kid, that, oh, it's um, law tube, but he always wears his suit. I can't remember his name, but he um, he's in Kentucky, and he said that he knows that he is 
Uh, these are all alleged. Oh, I'm going to pause you because I want to clear this energy and just give out Brian Albert his own, his own little bid. All right. I love you. Thanks for coming.